Any discussion on cloud computing without the mention of AWS or Amazon Web Services is seriously lacking if not an oversight. Hence, today we've brought together a session where we are going to talk all about careers in AWS for the year 2021. Hi all, I welcome you to this AWS Careers 2021 session by Edureka. And before we dive into this AWS rabbit hole, let's take a quick look at the agenda for today. So first of all, we are going to start out by discussing a little bit about AWS and a brief history of AWS. Next, we are going to move on to discussing what are the benefits of having a career in AWS or why should you be looking forward to a career in AWS? Then we're going to look at a few ways in which you can kickstart your AWS career in the year 2021. Then we're going to move on to certifications in AWS where we are going to discuss foundational, associate, professional and specialty certifications and then discuss five high popularity jobs in AWS and then move on to the big companies that are hiring AWS practitioners. And finally, we're going to close off the session with an AWS career roadmap. So do take up the time to subscribe to us and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from the Edureka YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about AWS, cloud computing and related technologies, do not forget to check out our training program, the link to which is given in the description box below. So without much ado, let's get started. So what exactly is AWS? Now AWS or Amazon Web Services is a secure cloud services platform which offers you compute power, database storage, content delivery and other functionality to help your business scale and grow. It's the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform offering over 200 services and functionalities. To be very specific, it is a large bundle of cloud-based services. And slowly but steadily, it has taken over more than half of its global market. But how did it all happen? Let's take a brief look at Amazon Web Services history, shall we? Back in 2000, Amazon wanted to build Merchant.com as a means for third-party retailers to start their own online shopping websites with the support of the e-commerce engine offered by Amazon. But without the early foresight in 1994, that is when Amazon started, things went haywire and Amazon had a huge challenge at hand. The question was how would they segregate the services and move to a centralized developer platform? This was the tipping point when the Amazon Web Services or AWS as it is better known, very slowly but steadily took form with a group of well-organized and smooth running APIs. It was all going very well and good, except when Amazon realized that they were not able to develop applications any faster. Every individual project needed its own resource to be built, leaving no room for reuse or scalability. Just building the database and storage components for a single project took many, many months together. This immediately called for thought towards building a set of common infrastructure services that could be used by everyone without having to repeat their modus operandi over and over and over again for each individual project. Now, the team of Amazon was already well aware of the fact that their core competencies lied in their ability to offer a broad selection of products and that they were excellent in managing and delivering orders. Nonetheless, what they soon realized was that all those times spent in databases, storage and computing services had resulted in them becoming efficient handlers and operators of cost effective data centers, which were extremely scalable and extremely reliable. So by 2003, they considered this set of services to be in some respect an operating system for the Internet. Andy Jazzy, who had been there from the very, very beginning, had spoken at an event in Washington, D.C. about how AWS came to be. What he said was they realized that they could contribute all those key components of that Internet operating system. And with that, they went to pursue this much broader mission, which is Amazon Web Services as we know it today. This is really to allow any organization or company or any developer to run their technology applications on top of Amazon's technology infrastructure platform. And that is how this all came to be. So in August of 2006, AWS became the first in the market to launch a modern cloud infrastructure service, which is the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2. 
And astonishingly, no one could do what Amazon did for another seven years. To this day, it has turned out to be a massive advantage against its competitors, with Amazon controlling more than half the market. Microsoft and Google are at their not-so-close second and third positions, respectively. AWS is also the fastest-growing public cloud service out there. So can you see where I'm going with this? This is all basically to answer your next question. Is AWS a good career choice? Or let me rephrase myself. Why should you look forward to a career in AWS? Now, nearly one third of the entire internet is running on AWS. And by the looks of it, Amazon's cloud fortress is not coming down anytime soon. Not just that, AWS controls more than half the market for public cloud service providers. With its end-to-end -end precise learning material for all services, it opens its window to you to consider AWS careers and jump on the bandwagon and kickstart a career in something that will be in demand for a very, very long time. The world's leading enterprises, along with public sector industries, have turned to AWS services and solutions. This means that whichever organization you choose to work for in the future, chances are there will always be a demand for professionals with AWS skills. So the world's leading enterprises along with the public sector industries have turned to AWS services and solutions. This means that whichever organization you choose to work for in the future, chances are that there will always be a demand for professionals with AWS skills. And because there's currently a dearth in the market for legitimate AWS practitioners, it creates this skill gap, which brings me to my last point, which is that you also have the highest paying jobs in the cloud computing domain stemming from AWS. Here are a few salaries segregated by AWS skills in the market today. So you have a DynamoDB, where the average salary is at almost 142,000 US dollars. You have your Elastic MapReduce at 136,000 US dollars. Not so far behind, you have CloudFormation, Elasticash, CloudWatch, and AWS Lambda. Apart from that, you have AWS Kinesis at 117,000 US dollars, which is not all that bad for an average salary. You have Key Management Service at 132,000 US dollars, Elastic Beanstalk at 114,000, and Redshift at nearly 114,000 as well. So, really high paying jobs, y'all. So given the demand, the future reliability, and the high paying nature of an AWS career, if you would ask me whether choosing a career in AWS is a wise move, is a wise decision, I would say it definitely is. But how should you kickstart your AWS career in the year 2021? Where should you start? Now, there is no lack of resources when it comes to learning AWS. The internet is full of online reading materials, blogs, books, tutorials, videos, forums, courses, etc. It is quite possible for you to learn everything you need to know about AWS from any of these resources. AWS itself has an extensive range of documents where if you follow the instructions to a T, you can never go wrong with using any of the services it provides. But an organization is not just going to hand you a job because you learned it all on the internet. It goes without saying that to build a solid understanding of AWS and its capabilities, you would be advised to take up a reliable course from a reputable institution. And at the end of the day, it is only an AWS certification which will validate your expertise in this area. This is where Edureka comes into picture. Edureka's AWS certification training is curated by industry professionals as per industry standards. The curriculum aligns with that of the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam or the SAACO2 and is led by seasoned instructors with in-depth knowledge of the subject. You shall be able to effectively architect and deploy secure and robust applications using AWS at the end of this training program. What this does is that it gets you industry ready and helps you identify the appropriate AWS services based on databases, network storage, cost optimization, computing power, and security requirements. 
which gives you that edge in the industry that you need. Therefore, you need to keep in mind that acquiring a certification, any well-rounded, thought-out, systematic training will put you in a better position when you apply for AWS jobs in the future. AWS certifications like these would also allow access to a network of professionals and organizations to benefit from Amazon's resources that cover the aspects of business, technical areas, marketing, and sales. So if you are looking to kickstart your career in AWS for the year 2021, this is a great opportunity for you. Moving on, let's discuss certifications in AWS. But more importantly, let's take a look at the various AWS certifications that are suitable to acquire skills targeting different AWS careers and roles. You have your AWS foundation level certification, which just has one certification, which is that of an AWS cloud practitioner foundational. Now the scope of the certification is basically introduction and basic working knowledge of cloud computing on the AWS platform. And it involves six months of fundamental AWS cloud training and industry knowledge of the same. Next, you have your three AWS associate level certifications. You have your AWS SysOps Administrator, you have AWS Solutions Architect, and AWS Certified Developer. The scope of these certifications include a deeper knowledge and skill set in the AWS architecture, development, and operations. So you basically have one year of experience of solving problems and implementing solutions using AWS Cloud Platforms. And next you have the AWS Professional Level Certifications, which includes two certifications. One is of AWS DevOps Engineer and one is AWS Solutions Architect, which basically gives you an in-depth working knowledge of AWS architecture and engineering. It needs you to get two years of comprehensive experience designing, operating, and troubleshooting solutions using the AWS Cloud and gets you market ready as an AWS Certified Solutions Architect or DevOps Engineer. And finally, you have your AWS Specialty Certifications. Now, this section consists of six certifications, which include Advanced Networking, Security, Machine Learning, Alexa Skill Builder, Data Analytics, and Database Specialty. All of these certifications give you a comprehensive understanding of each of these AWS specialty areas. You would be needing a technical AWS cloud experience in the specialty domain as specified by your exam guide. And any of these certifications basically will help you upskill and successfully pursue any suitable AWS career of your choice. Now an AWS certification comes with its own set of benefits not just it validates your AWS skills and knowledge base, it is also a great way to get a quick boost in your current salary. Not just that, it makes you highly desirable in the cloud job market. Because as I mentioned before, there is a skill gap when it comes to qualified and skilled AWS cloud practitioners in the market today. Apart from that, it shows how committed you are to this field and your profession and increases your chances of getting hired by a, that dream company of yours. And finally, it opens the door for a whole new sea of job opportunities for you to pick from in the AWS cloud market, which includes other opportunities available in the IT industries apart from the very core AWS careers. AWS certified professionals are eligible to pursue top paying jobs based on IT related certifications and training. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of getting AWS certified or not. Now let's move on to a few popular job profiles in AWS today. As per pay scale and indeed, there is a recorded average income of 114,000 US dollars for any professional skilled in the Amazon Web Services or AWS. Evidently, an AWS career path is a highly favorable one for those aspirants and professionals who are interested in well compensated positions in the IT industry. So, we're going to move on to five very popular job profiles in AWS. So, the first job profile we're going to look at is the AWS Cloud Architect. Now, the AWS Cloud Architect directly connects with engineers as well as clients 
providing an interface with stakeholders and technical leadership. The cloud architect supplies lead information, efforts, and technical architectures assuring that the interspersion of new technologies is being adopted. The average salary for a cloud solutions architect in India is 9.2 lakhs, which varies along with your skill set in Amazon Web Services, as I had mentioned before. Certain skills that an AWS cloud architect should equip themselves with include hands-on knowledge of the AWS platform and services, proficiency in cloud computing, hands-on knowledge with the Microsoft Azure platform as well, a sound knowledge of enterprise solutions, as well as in-depth knowledge of system architectures. Moving on, we have the AWS cloud developer. Now, cloud developers are responsible for the development of software applications and solutions for enterprises with significant experience in software development and some knowledge of the AWS platform. You can definitely apply for different branches under this rule too. Also, an AWS certification will definitely help bring your career a level up as a cloud developer. Now, the average cloud developer or solutions engineer salary in India is nearly 7 lakhs, which varies based on your skill set and experience. A few popular skills that you need for a cloud solutions engineer or a cloud developer is a sound knowledge of the Amazon Web Services, proficiency in cloud computing, Linux fundamentals, and a hands-on experience with Microsoft Azure. Moving on, we have the cloud DevOps engineer. Another very popular career choice is that of a DevOps engineer. Now, a DevOps engineer is someone who has the expertise skills beyond development in network operations and system deployment. Thus, this entire well-rounded skill set with the deep knowledge and hands-on experience of the AWS platform can open up a sea of job opportunities. For that, you can have your skills validated with an AWS certification and your chances of getting an AWS job almost entirely doubles. Now, according to Payscale, the average salary for the development operations or DevOps engineer in India is 7 lakhs as a starting average salary. But again, this varies with your skill set in DevOps and in cloud computing. Some popular skills for a cloud DevOps engineer is obviously knowledge of deploying, operating and managing systems, proficiency in the AWS platform, managing and deploying production operations, hands-on experience with continuous integration tools like Jenkins, and a little scripting and programming skills also level you up in your career as a cloud DevOps engineer. Moving on, you have the cloud software engineer. Now, if you are a software engineer coding in Python, Ruby, JavaScript, C++, or any of these programming languages, there is a great chance to grow a career with Amazon Web Services. Your capacity of designing, developing, and implementing system or software on AWS platforms can bring you more opportunities and help you get into a career in AWS. So you can go ahead and validate your software design and development skills with an AWS certification and stand out of the regular crowd in the job market. Now, the average salary starting out in this job profile is nearly 7 lakhs, which again changes with added skill set and experience in the field. And your skill set should include a strong hand in programming, obviously, proficiency in the AWS platform, and designing, developing, and implementing software applications. And the last job profile we're going to discuss is that of a sysops administrator An AWS sysops administrator is one who is responsible for deploying, operating and managing systems on the AWS platform. If you have in-depth knowledge and expertise in managing and deploying production operations on the AWS cloud, you can validate your expertise with an AWS sysops administration certification. And getting an AWS certification will add this credential to your resume and help you get a much better hike in your current job role. The average starting salary is at 5.2 lakhs, which again shall change with increase in experience and addition to skill sets. So your skill set must include deploying, operating and managing systems, proficiency on the AWS platform, managing and deploying production operations. Now, keep in mind, all of these average salaries are for people in between zero to two years in these particular job roles. And with an AWS certification, 
all these job roles definitely have so much more to offer now that you know the job roles in which you could get hired in AWS let's move on and look at a few recruiters or companies which are hiring AWS practitioners or professionals now you have several different companies which use the Amazon Web Services platform for different storage and computing needs. So it shouldn't really come as a surprise that all of these big names are hiring aggressively for different AWS roles for really high paying jobs. You have your Amazon Web Services. Obviously, it would be interesting if AWS itself did not hire for AWS practitioners. You have Bosch, which now allows developers to subscribe to their services directly using AWS accounts and in turn to build their IoT solutions. You have Netflix, which uses AWS for nearly all its computing and storage needs, including databases, analytics, recommendation engines, video transcoding, and more. With hundreds of functions that are in total use, more than 100,000 server instances on AWS. You also have Sony, which uses AWS for the PlayStation Network, and you have IBM working with AWS to help joint customers simplify the process of migrating to the cloud. And finally, you have Dropbox, which despite moving a significant majority of its data and storage in-house, still maintains a relationship with Amazon. So it still uses AWS. As AWS offers wider distribution, so Dropbox can provide seamless file moving even in places where Dropbox facilities can't reach, such as Europe and Asia. So the AWS job market is basically the perfect platform for job seekers to showcase their skills and more companies to establish relationships with skilled professionals. Because businesses that engage in cloud computing technologies are businesses that are invested in the future. They are seeking forward thinking professionals who not only meet standards in academia, but also have an urge to learn and innovative thinking. So finally, let's go ahead and look at a brief roadmap of little checkboxes that you can think of getting a head start on before moving into the AWS career field. You can start out with coding or scripting fundamentals, preferably in Python. Moving on to cloud-based networking, which basically is the understanding of giving users access to networking resources through a centralized third-party provider such as AWS operating interconnected servers. Some data storage basics are also great to learn, though this is not a compulsion. But since the cloud storage has an ever-growing list of storage bucket locations, then you can move on to the data storage basics about its just-in-time capacity, costs and estimates, buying and managing, your own or your company's data storage infrastructure. Moving on is a really important one, which is compliance and security. Since AWS supports more security standards and compliance certifications than any other offering, it would be great to learn and understand the objective of AWS's security compliance management, which ensures that the organization is compliant with regulatory requirements and internal policies and efficiently tracks its reports and statuses. Moving on, you have AWS Service Selection, which as the name suggests, is basically referring to choosing an AWS service to use for running the application that meets your needs. Since AWS has a suite of hundreds of services, it's a good thing to have a fair idea about what you need for your specific job profile and that just makes the job that much easier for you. Then you have your cloud specific technologies, which is completely dependent on the career choice that you make within the AWS cloud practice. You could be a cloud DevOps engineer, in which case you'll also have to have knowledge of tools like Jenkins, Docker, Git, etc. You could be AWS big data engineer, in which case you will have to know different big data analytics tools and their AWS alternatives. And finally, you can get an AWS certification of your choice where you will be trained to become an AWS expert. The certification will basically help you build technical skills from an accredited instructor and pick your learning path and build your own cloud skills to advance in your AWS career this year. This will not just validate your AWS skills, it will also enhance your credibility 
with an industry recognized credential globally there are more than 400000 cloud computing jobs in the industry itself and even more to come with cloud computing pervading into almost every business vertical the need for qualified and certified cloud professionals is ever growing and since aws is currently leading the pack with more than half the market and enterprises it is a clear sign that getting aws certified has something great in store for you Concluding, I'd like to say that you can pick a profession in AWS without worrying about your career growth, not just because of the demand in the market for AWS professionals, but also because these skills you can acquire from anywhere, any source, online or offline in the IT sector. For any cloud computing enthusiast, AWS careers come with such a myriad of possibilities that one need not have apprehensions about the lack of opportunities or the room to scale heights in the cloud market. With that, I'd like to close the session. My name is Upasna. Thank you and have a great day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!